Wait, wait, wait. I want to show you how we do a visual applause. thrilled to be here and perform, but before I do that and share this with you, I do have an important message for all of you out there. I want to remind everybody here today that oftentimes deaf people as a community are labeled as disabled and as having a disability, but we don't believe that. That's not our label. That is the government's definition of us and their label for us. So disability aside, we as a deaf community are humans. That's what we are. We have a culture, we have a language, and we are humans first and foremost. Historically, deaf people have been able to have many successes, whether it be in the field of education, employment, entertainment, we've empowered other people. But still, in the face of oppression and discrimination, hatred, ignorance, oppression, and marginalization, we are still fighting for our human rights and navigating that. Historically, for the last 200 years, deaf people have struggled through that oppression and hatred. And we are here to stand up and fight for our human rights Deaf individuals do pay taxes. We work hard. We vote. We're citizens just like anyone else. We truly are. But do we have equal human rights? We still do not. We don't. The equality is not there. We are not there yet. We are still fighting systemic oppression. So we are here today with all of you globally to try to fight that oppression and to make sure we have equality in education and employment and that we can empower others to thrive in their fields. We want that, whether it be in the government, the judicial system, all the different systems out there, we experience what's called autism, A-U-D-I-S-M, autism. Now, maybe you're wondering what that word means, A-U-D-I-S-M, autism. What it means is the notion that one is superior based on one's ability to hear or behave in the manner of one who hears. It's oppressive, and we face it every day. We have deaf women here. We have deaf women all over the world. And within our community, we have the LGBTQ community, we have deaf-blind individuals, deaf women, deaf women and people of color, deaf senior citizens, children, hard of hearing individuals, individuals with a hearing loss. All of those factions are part of our community and all deserve that equality. So deaf individuals with disabilities as well, else out there just like every other citizen now you can see that there are people here globally from all walks of life here in this March today to to support our rights to make sure that we can have that power and control back and to stop that oppression we are marching together in collaboration in unity women men children deaf people disabled people the like together in unity. We want to stop that government oppression and control because we do have a human right. And now we have struggled and we're standing up and it is time to celebrate our souls. The last thing I want to do is share an ASL poem with you all. And 
ASL poems are under ASL literature, and perhaps you're wondering what that is. If you think about English literature and, and spoken poems, it has a rhythm to it, that sort of thing, you might have alliteration. In American Sign Language, we have American Sign Language literature. It's a visual way of seeing a poem. You might see it through hand shapes or rhythm or certain movements. And so it's just tied visually. Today I'm gonna to be using the hand shape of the number five. And you'll probably see that repeated throughout my poem. And you might recognize that. That hand shape five delineates the word woman. If you look up here, this is the sign for woman in American Sign Language. And then the sign for march, if you look up here, also uses the hand shape number five. So you will see that throughout my poem. So now I'd like to share with you an ASL poem um, for all of you, and it's really for our culture, and thank you so much to my community for being here today. Uh, this is representative of deaf people all over the world. This poem is titled, Women's Global March. Globally, women, men, children, come together in unity to march, march, march. Globally, women, men, children, come together in unity to what? We've experienced oppression, 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 but we're here in unity to resist that oppression, resist, and we march, we march, we march. Now globally, women, men, and children, we come together to march, march, march. And we are here together, women, men, and children. To be inspired, inspired, inspired until our hearts roar. Love you all, thank you so much, thank you.